And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershirt Dr. Phone. And sometimes we do come across the worst of circumstances when it comes to our iPhones and come across some really annoying errors and issues. And while there are many that deserve videos in and of themselves, today we're going to be discussing four ways of fixing iTunes and iPhone error 9006. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And also don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this moving forward. Now let's get right into the video. If you're using an older version of iTunes or just trying to update or restart your iPhone using iTunes, then you might receive an error called error 9006. It would state something along the lines of, there was a problem downloading software for the iPhone, an unknown error occurred, and it's going to label it as 9006. This usually depicts the failure of a software update or download for the attached iPhone. And most of the time, the error 9006 iTunes occurs when iTunes is not able to communicate properly to the Apple server. There could be a, a problem with your network connection or the Apple server might just be busy as well. To complete the software update process, iTunes does require the respective IPSW file related to your device. And when it is not able to download that file, it displays the iTunes error 9006, which is exactly what results in, in this whole issue so, so that is essentially what's causing all of it. And it can also occur when you are using an older version of iTunes that is not supported by your device anymore. There could be a handful of reasons for getting the iPhone error 9006. Now, when you know what has caused it, let's proceed and learn how to solve all of these, which is going to lead us onto a whole list of solutions coming right up. One of the best ways of fixing error 9006 is by using Dr. Phone System Repair. It is an extremely efficient and easy to use tool that can resolve plenty of other issues related to iOS devices like Reboot Loop, black screen, iTunes error, error 4013, error 14, and more. One of the best things about this application is that it can resolve the iPhone error 9006 without causing any data loss on your device which is going to be very effective and useful. So as a part of the Dr. Phone Toolkit, it is compatible with every leading version of iOS and all of the major devices like iPhone, iPad, and iPod to use Dr. Phone System Repair. So simply go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. So first off, just go ahead and download Dr. Phone from your web browser and install it onto your Windows PC or Mac. And from the welcome screen, just go ahead and choose the option of System Repair. And now go ahead and just connect your iPhone to the system and wait for it to recognize it. And then once it's done, go ahead and click on standard mode from here. If the iOS device is connected but not being detected by Dr. Phone, and then you need to ensure that your phone is on DFU mode, which stands for device firmware update mode. And this can be done by simply going ahead to the instructions that you're going to be seeing on screen as it might just end up requiring that. To make sure that the application is actually able to fix error 9006 for iTunes, I just go ahead and provide the correct system details of your phone and then go ahead and click on the start button once you're ready in order to get the new firmware update downloaded. It might actually take a few minutes while the application goes ahead and downloads this update. And then you're going to know about it from an on-screen indicator, of course. And then once it is done, the tool will just automatically start repairing your device. So just sit back and relax as it would fix the iTunes error 9006. And in the end, your device will be restarted in the normal mode. And if you are not happy with the results, then simply go ahead and click on the try again button in order to rinse and repeat this process. And that should do it for you. And as stated, one of the biggest reasons for error 9006 occurring is using an older or corrupted version of iTunes. And for that, due to iTunes exceptions or issues, the iTunes that you are using might not be supported anymore in order to work with your device. Therefore, one can simply try to resolve the error 9006 for iTunes by repairing it. So once more, we're going to be going with Dr. Phone on this method, and we're going to click on iTunes Repair once that is downloaded. So go ahead and go onto your Windows PC or your Mac, and then go ahead and access Dr. Phone from there. And then on the main menu, go ahead and click on iTunes Repair from the left bar, and then go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. Exclude iPhone connection issues, and just choosing Repair iTunes Connection Issues will check and fix all of your potential iTunes connection issues. And this also checks if iTunes Error 9006 fix iTunes errors if iTunes error 9006 persists, choose repair iTunes errors in order to fix all of the commonly used 
iTunes components. And then after this, most iTunes errors will be resolved. Next up, if you want to fix iTunes errors in the advanced mode, the final option is to just go ahead and choose advanced repair in order to fix all iTunes components in advanced mode. If you're already using an updated version of iTunes, then chances are that there could be a problem with your device itself. And thankfully, it can be resolved very simply by just restarting it. And this can be done by going ahead and pressing the power or sleep wake button now. If you're getting the power slider, just go ahead and slide the screen in order to turn off your device and just wait for a few seconds before restarting. And in case your phone is not able to turn off from here, you just need to force restart it, which is also pretty simple. If you're using an iPhone 6 or older generation devices, then go ahead and restart it by pressing the power button and the home button simultaneously so your device shuts off. And then from here, you're pretty much good to go. But if you're using a more recent device like 6s or an iphone 7 and above then you can go ahead and just click on the sleep wake button and the volume down button until your phone shuts itself off and that should get the job done and the same drill can be followed with the iphone 7 and iphone 7 plus the only difference is that instead of the home button you need to press the power and volume down button at the same time and then just wait for the screen to go fully black from here and then once it's all black just go ahead and and restart it as usual and then you should see your phone coming back up I know mostly we get the error 9006 whenever the system is not able to download the IPSW file from Apple's server. And to fix this, you can also just manually download the file to yourself. The IPSW is the raw iOS system update file, and it can be used in order to update your device using iTunes. And to fix the iPhone error 9006 by using the IPSW file, just go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. Firstly, just go ahead and download the relevant IPSW file for your device from here, and then make sure that you download the correct file for your device model. Now, after connecting your iOS device to the system, just go ahead and launch iTunes and visit its summary section. And then from here, like you can just go ahead and see uh, the restore and update buttons uh, for Windows, and the same can be done by holding the shift key and clicking on either of the buttons from here. Uh, this is going to open up a file browser from which you can choose a recently downloaded IPSW file and then just go ahead and select that and then it should be able to get the job done for you from there and then I would say that you're pretty much good to go after that and that's pretty much it those have been five methods of fixing the error 9006 and if you like this video just go ahead and leave us a like and if you have any questions then make sure to comment them down below as well share this video with anyone who needs it and subscribe for more content just like this as well as turning on the notification bell so until next time enjoy